it's primarily for people that want to take up a role in analysis in the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, also, those that want to conduct uh, further research, possibly towards a PhD, again around sort of uh, analysis topics and that kind of thing. We teach you the sort of uh, a, a sort of a basic kit of uh, techniques and approaches that will allow you to understand how medicines are made, how we monitor their stability, uh, how we look at their their purity, and also how we uh, identify and characterise those molecules that are within those uh, medicines. After Christmas, we specialise and we have um, two uh, modules. We have a, a module that's focused on separation science, uh, quality control and reg regulatory uh, issues. Uh, you do a lot of work there in looking at the sort of state of the art in chromatography. Uh, we have a number of excellent uh, academics and you'll also be working with people that uh, are based in our waters sponsored laboratory and they're a big manufacturer of, of uh, sort of separation science and HPLC uh, equipment. The other module you'll do is more on advanced spectroscopy uh, and advanced analytical methods and there we're looking at also at the quality control of um, uh, the, the molecules that are going into the, uh, the, the medicine. We want to know whether it's the right molecule, we want to know whether there's impurities in there, um, we want to know uh, something about the structure of the molecule as well and so we have a number uh, of academics that are involved in developing um, uh, uh, specific spect spectroscopic techniques. We also get a number of the regula regulators to come in to talk through some of the issues and also to help you and introduce you to some of the regulatory uh, processes and documentation. A number of our graduates uh, are employed uh, in, in regulatory authorities and want to know is it the right drug, is it the drug on the label and is that drug particularly stable. The academics involved with the teaching of pharmaceutical analysis and quality control offer research projects and the students enrolled in the PAQC get a chance to select from quite a big bank of those uh, titles and uh, quite a few of them go on to write research papers based on their work. So the sort of things you're equipped with at the end, you'll have a lot of technical knowledge, uh, a lot of theoretical background, but also the ability to, p to apply uh, that uh, uh, knowledge and learning in a sort of research uh, environment. The graduates that um, come and study with us on the PAQC, all of them have uh, sort of a chemistry background. But that chemistry back background can be quite diverse. So we have lots of students that come from a sort of Chinese herbal background, right through to people that have done things like food science, as well as standard people with chemistry degrees. And also we're getting lots of uh, pharmacists that want to come back in, do more research, and perhaps work for uh, the large uh, pharmaceutical companies in, in more of an analytical role, and possibly in the management of sort of other analysts as well. So it's quite a diverse background, but I think the link between all of our sort of uh, students attending the course is sort of a, a, a good chemistry um, sort of uh, knowledge and experience.